Well, there's people that just love to hate. Trust me, there is people that just love to hate. And they're miserable for seeing people whom they hate to not hate. For instance, this video, of course, I dedicate to the state of the Israel. And I am also dedicating one to the one that Israeli state have promoted against me for no less than 28 years. That's a Slovenian psychiatry, psychiatrists. You see this wallet here? I'm sure you're aware Miami is a capital, is a Jewish capital of Americas. Now, if you look at it on the map, you're going to see Northern America, you're going to see Southern America. And if you look at the map, you're going to see Miami, you know, Miami Beach. It's very, very high percentage of the Jewish population. The building where I was hijacked from, abducted for no less than 11 and a half years from 95 to August of 2006, that was like at least 90% was Jewish. That was my backpack and that was my wallet. As for myself, I got reprimanded from my... Uh, Boss at Wacken Hut, Trevor Chambers, he said to me, man, you need the wallet. You need the wallet, Bobby. And I was like, no wallet for me. No wallet for me. I was always laid back, as you possibly can imagine. I would walk inside of the wholesale store or something like that. Maybe Circuit City, if not wholesale store in Miami downtown, or Brand Smart or whatever, and I would just pull out a bunch of cash and pay for whatever and just go my way. Out of my pocket, out of my back pocket, where I also had a driving license. Sorry. Everybody was pissed off with me because I would. For no really, for no apparent reason. But yeah, maybe I don't know. I, I would, I would keep my money simply not in a wallet, and it would be like like this. And then the ladies at the Walgreen they would complain, "Hey, it's a game, Bob, and it's giving me you know money, you know, like this, you know, under MK Ultra." They would complain to me. But I was a laid back guy. I was just easy, the easy, the easiest possible person you can come across. That was one time, you know. If somebody would come in the store from my ex wife, because she had a business and I helped her along the way in Miami downtown, and they would even hand me money. Now, if, 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 if it was a portion of it missing, I would say, no, bye. But if the money was like damaged or something, I would at least go to the neighbor Pete, let's say, he had a money exchange and ask him if he can maybe somehow wash that money. My ex-wife was really good, Ecuadorian from South America. Um, she had friends at the bank and they always welcomed Teresa and they changed her uh, the money, regardless of how damaged the money was. So I was a really, really laid back, uh, laid back guy. <laughs> Did I would walk with this shit around? No. But things change thanks to Israeli state. In many ways, as the Israeli state entered in my life, it all entered through some kind of marital proposals, which some way somehow didn't go through. Uh, with every good attempt they had for me, it just somehow never, never got through on that MKO. Just, everything was just turning into more and more in darker and darker scenario. Israel was the one that jump-started Vladimir Putin's violence against me in the United States of America. 
Everybody warned them. Italian, French, British, everybody declined offers literally in front of me. They would approach them and making them offers and people refused to engage in violence, but it was the Israelis. Actually, I'm not just uh, American Jews that accepted the bet and the violence just took off. That's how it all started. Then, I was told actually for declining to marry a Jewish female. It was about two or three marriage proposals I got in Miami. And by the way, I would say maybe something like this would have never happened again. If it was in real life, maybe it would be completely different. I think it was. That's why I think they did a lot of stuff on the MK Ultra. I was told you're never going to have children, family, and so on. And then the obsession followed in me on how I'm going to get the Israeli citizenship admission that they destroy me American citizenship. Claims from Israelis, from American Jews, they claimed destruction of my right to leave, reside in the United States of America. They claimed, they claimed credit, they, they want to be credited for destroying my life in the U.S., basically. Claimed that to American civil rights movements, which they have involved in it. And really, my life took turn for worse. The laid back life was coming to an end because it was just nothing other than Slovenia or wherever I was brought from sunny Miami other than violence to psychiatry. And in this video, and that's what's gonna be like, you know, for every, every, everything you're gonna try to awaken me, you're gonna be up for a rude awakening afterwards, talking to Israeli state right now. There will be no mercy for every insult, for every attempt to even undermine. You're going to be severely punished by my side in crime you committed against me. The further you're going to get, the further you're going to get yourself in trouble. I don't hold any grudge against you. I don't want to handle your case. I'm subject to the laws of European Union and to United States of America, which citizens still I am. But in this video, I will remind the Israeli state and Slovenian psychiatrists of the local psychiatrist whose name is Peter Kapsch. Peter Kapsch and police, local police, got an idea in which even one of my family members became involved in. It was the future husband of my niece. His name is Mitya Weber. And he's got a doctorate, he's got his degree and all that. He shares a very, very common traits with psychiatrist Peter Kopsch. These are the traits based on which I'm going to help them accomplish their ultimate goal, their ultimate purpose in life. Since they love so much a hatred, since they love so much to hate, they will have plenty to hate behind the bars. This here, this is the picture of... In a little bit I'm going to get to this. This here is the picture of psychiatrist Peter Kapsch. This here. See this guy? This is the picture of psychiatrist Peter Kopsch. 
This is another picture of psychiatrist Peter Kopsch. And these are the two pictures that was used by the psychiatrist Peter Kopsch. And I would say most likely Israelis. Oh, look at that. If you click on this, you're not going to see the picture anymore. The picture is gone. This article here appears. It doesn't say anything about his photo. You don't get to see one. But psychiatrist Peter Kopsch and the Israeli state ensured on how they would remind me of what the Israel would love to refer to as a case of anti-Semitism. Because in the face of this criminal here, I have declined not only him, but a lot of Israeli faces. For that matter, it's very easy, I can explain. All I have to do is, is read you the article I have written today. Now, let's take on the yesterday. The Serbs. When I was hijacked already on the ship in 1995, Slovenian police would exchange me with one another. I would spend time on Balkans in ditches where the Serbs would uh, trade bullets with the Croats or with the Bosniaks. The Serbs launched, these are small brothers on Balkans, brothers, Russian brothers. They launched war against four nations at the same time, simultaneously, they, they wanted to ethnically cleanse out Bosnian people, Croat people, Slovenian people, and Kosovo people. For nationalities, I think that when you have the biggest one, which was the Serb in this Yugoslav Federation that have fallen apart, engaging in killing simultaneously against four smaller nations, nationalities, nations, it's not difficult to point out whose guilt this is. But this individual particularly that I demonstrated this psychiatrist Peter Kopsch, doesn't necessarily look like this, as you see here. And that's what I mentioned to you earlier my niece's husband, Mitya Weber. You see, he too was trying to imitate facial characteristics of Israelis. Oh. Don't even ask me about why somebody would be doing the stuff like this. I've explained very well what they were doing. This is actually what he looks like. He doesn't even look anywhere close to what you have seen on a photo, right? But psychiatrist does what psychiatry knows. He's a comedian. Do you see this man? This is the same man. Look at him good. Do you see this guy? But this is the guy. Here, he doesn't look even a little bit Israeli, does he? Well, this is a chameleon, this is a psychiatrist. This is the man uh, who, profession. I'm not going to even say that he's the only one. I cannot say that he is the only one. His close friend and associate was this guy here. And this individual here. This one here. He was indicted in Hague for war crimes he committed in the Balkans for killing Croatian, Bosnian, calling for ethnic cleansing of Kosovo people and Slovenian people and so on. He just wanted to cleanse 
the Balkans and make Serbia a little bit bigger, previously also known as Yugoslavia. His profession was a psychiatrist and he was a personal amigo, he was a personal friend of the man I have demonstrated you here. My condolences to you, State of Israel. You are deeply involved because, you know why? Because of this thing here. I have clearly demonstrated, clearly described on how this shit was done. I clearly demonstrated today, I recalled the violence that went on in Serbia ought to be protected by Milan Kuchan. Milan Kuchan was a very close friend of Milosevic, of the Karadzic, of all these people. This is this man here, he was running the show. This is the guy right here, the Slovenian guy. I complain a lot about him, I complain a lot about Dernoshek, I complain a lot about Miran Puterc, I complain a lot about people who claimed were from the League of the Communists of Yugoslavia in the past. They were, except that union, that political option they presented had nothing to do with the communism. I would love to say little, but it had nothing to do with the communism. It did have to do with the Serbian Chetnik movement, with the ethnic cleansing more than anything else. This man you see right there have hoped for ethnically cleansed Slovenia so that one will become available to the Serbian counterparts as Northern Republic Srpska. Um, Republic Srpska is just something Serbs have created in occupied parts of Bosnia. And so they hoped that with the violence, with what they have done to me, and regretfully I have to say that Israeli state willingly participated by even saying to me, exampling me, these people, people that you see here, now the president departing Slovenian political stage, his name is Bord Pahor, this guy here, did you see, this, this man here is still in a political... His mentor was Milan Kuchan. Well, this is the current president of Slovenia. And the one that replaced him is no different from him. This is the same thing. So, if you like the hate so much, you will... You will get plenty of opportunity. For one. These are the people, Milan Kuchan, that ran the crime against me. They ran the whole thing. They ran the crime ag against natives of Slovenia, which really, really, really impressed Israeli delegation. I have to regretfully say, really I have to regretfully say that, which exampled me these very people with, I cite, moving their heads in most uh, negative, disapproving ways, claiming in the face that I'm going to need the Israeli citizenship, that I'm not worthy, uh, that I'm not worth to be wasted. They want Yugoslavia, the Yugoslavia is going to be, and they did so, Israelis did so, Israelis did so here in this house, in this room, in Slovenia, in Israel, with a, in front of the Serbian colleagues, not only Slovenian colleagues. They did Israelis absolutely everything possible to break my will, my right to my own nationality. Israeli state did this, Israelis Jews did this. You did this stuff. Now that's fascism. I don't have to explain much about it. To support that fascism, Israelis and American Jews needed a hate ticket. The hate ticket was a psychiatry. This is the guy I have just demonstrated you right there. 
This is a chameleon. Who, by the way, interesting enough, got an idea to look different by observing me on my American citizenship photo where I appeared uh, a very, very different due to obesity issues. It was more than obesity issues. It was the MK, it was a torture under MK Ultra that Israeli state have enforced in United States of America involving black civil rights in it, involving other civil rights movements, giving a full support for psychiatry against me and unemployment in Slovenia. I don't know how much did other governments felt Israeli pressure in respect to my fighting the right to political asylum in more than a dozen countries, including Canada. All over European continent, in Western and in Eastern Europe. Uh, but I sure know that the crime that Israel, which Israeli state exercised against me, was a tentacle of Milan Kuchan. It was the extra push which Milan Kuchan commenced through the mentioned psychiatry with idea to protect Serbian Chetniks criminals from liabilities for crimes committed against me inside of the ditches in Bosnia and occupied parts of Croatia where Serbs withdrew me inside and tortured so they could get the feedback from me that would give them, instill them enough hatred to lounge themselves across the wires toward uh, Croats and Bosnians. That's what they were using me, the Serbs. So this is about the hate ticket. The facial characteristics of the Serbs who engage in crime against me have Milan Kuchan replicated through the people whom this psychiatrist who were involved in case, such as Zoran Muja, who is in Belgrade, by the way, now. He was a great friend, a great colleague, personal friend of Karadzic, psychiatrist Karadzic. Find, they found people in Slovenia that they, they, they created a whole dossier with the Russians on a people in Slovenia that somewhat at least reminded of those in Serbia that engaged in violence against me. Then they implicated next to domestic people here, especially those in crime, so they could connect the dots with the Serbian violence against me, with, the, uh, with violence right here in Slovenia. This shit started as early as in 95 and 96 in Slovenia. Stuff I'm talking about. That's a facial profiling of Milan Kuchan, which Milan Kuchan exercised against me. So I would hate Slovenia just as much as I did the ditches of Bosnia and Croatia where Serbs were using me for their purposes, for their hate purposes. So this is the story about the Israeli state, the great Israeli state which, by the way, have made over the course of 28 years, 28 years, 28 years is what Israeli state sitted at top of my grave. This allowed me to breathe. I can't breathe, right? I can't breathe, huh? For 28 years, you came to fest yourself inside of this room, signed contracts, made more money inside of this room with war contracts, with military trade agreements than you did throughout your entire history, throughout your entire Israeli existence with other branches of Israeli economy. You made more money inside of this room than you did combined with everything else you were running in Israel and outside of the Israel. This was more lucrative to, for you to come here and meet here with the Russians 
and others and sign contracts. Seal them with my blood, with crime against me, through the people like this here. So I told you, you're going to be, you're up for a rude awakening. I noticed today that you continue with more terrorism against me. And I just happen so not to like this stuff. For every crime you're going to do, you're going to get rude awakening. And I don't know how long you're going to be able to go with it. But it's going to be tough, I imagine. This, what you see here. I was also brought here, taught, explained, it's going to be a list of bombings, attacks in Israel, for which eventually I'm going to end up being blamed for. It wasn't only the sniper, death threats inside of the Israeli state. That's a police officer right there. Those are Israeli police officers, am I correct? Okay, so we're talking about Israeli police, which also exercise death threats, sniper death threats, through what was recently acknowledged as a killing of the journalist in Israel. My niece, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a little bit more rude awakening. She wanted me to compare her with this lady here. Her name, Anna Frank. Did Mr. Benjamin Netanyahu, Gantz, Knesset, met her personally as a part of Slovenian delegation, as early probably as in 1996, when they hijacked me from Slovenia further to Israel. They had my family go along, and they got to meet this here Israel is alone called my niece Anne Frank right yes so what exactly did Israel have to do with this crime against me this sickening shit ruining my life a whole a lot a whole a whole a lot no I was trying to be quiet I frankly didn't want to have problems with Israel I didn't want to make problems I have other problems but when you insist I am gonna give you plenty to hate about the truth you're gonna fucking hate this is my niece she heavily involved in torture abuse beatings with what became also her fiance who used exactly the same kind of tele technology as i have stated to you earlier um he wouldn't shave and have likewise associate himself as an Israeli, claimed was an Israeli, he was a Jew, and his task was to destroy me. And this is the stuff. They were sickening me, something that started with, in Serbia, just as I have nicely described in this very video here, gained ripples and it started to spread throughout the world to Israel what was interesting about this crime was that people I would not even know meet under MK Ultra would get in my face and automatically started to what they refer to as discriminate insult me engaged in terror connect me with other people for whom they knew very well they have done uh, as a matter of fact that I have not done anything to deserve that type of torture under MK Ultra, but have given them a green light literally 
based on my physical, facial characteristics. And this is a story about the Israeli hate ticket, because it's the Israel that exists, breeds for the issues such as anti-Semitism. And I find it almost incredible that it would be a country that ruined my life, 28 years of my life, is what Israel ruined, literally, through the psychiatry. I think mean, quite incredible that I ended up eventually, despite the crime that was done to me in Israel, supporting one, and would continue to engage in a terrorism, in extortion, uh, in a special requests, special demands, even in 2019, 2020, and recently what I have seen have those surface up to steer the shit against me with other parties involved in MKUltra. For that matter, I know that Israeli state is not capable to go beyond the hate ticket because Israeli state is a fascist state and from the fascist state you can only expect one thing it's called fascism fascism is a hatred which was produced by the Stalinism fascism was responsed to a Stalinism and from fascism Nazism developed so that's all I wanted to say about this video uh, Peter Kapsch did post online like this when you click on the link on his photo you're not gonna see one you're not gonna see the article eventually here's the article uh, Peter Kapsch blamed me his, his, he claimed he eventually believed with the Israelis with the Jews that he will be the one who will have in hands my destiny. He tortured under MK Ultra and claimed was victim of my discrimination against one based on his physical appearance, disregarding that he alone was a partner of Karadzic and was using a facial characteristics literally to sick an individual to the end. Next to the sleep deprivation that will go for week, two weeks, month of sleep deprivation, beatings, spittings, de death threats all over the Balkans in Russia. In Russia, Serbsky Center was one of the psychiatric hospitals in Russia, in Moscow. Serbsky Center. Sounds like a Serbian center where I would be brought, locked inside, hijacked by Central Intelligence Agency from Miami, sunny Miami, Florida, USA, brought to Moscow and thrown inside a, behind the walls of a psychiatric institution. But you would have Russian psychiatrists engaging in violence, psychiatric violence against me as I was drugged up. That threatened how I'm never going to come out and all kinds of stuff like this. This is what my American citizenship have provided for me. This is what I accomplished. That's why I look like that. I became naturalized American citizen in 2000 as you see this is what American citizenship have provided for me and I'm appalled I have to say I'm appalled that Israeli state probably is worse than the Soviet Union was as I earlier stated it was a Stalinism that created a fascism I don't even know how you will respond because I know this is why I know what to expect from a state like this.
it's gotta be because when you do the stuff like this to a person it goes beyond anything and regardless of what it's got one goal and that was a goal that Israeli state shared for 28 years with the Joseph Stalin in my case so whichever way you want I told you you're gonna be up for a very 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 rude awakening every time you're gonna try even try you're gonna give an attempt to contemplate some sort of extortion some sort of threat you misunderstood me I was very nice with you but I know for a fact that with a people with a country like this sooner or not it's going to be other people who's going to have problem and I know that people had a problem with it before I even came to the United States of America Israeli state is a state that survives on the hatred it's a hate ticket it survives based on the word known as anti-semitism it survives based on my case which they developed in certain people that are winnable likely people of Caucasian race so that denazification military operations known as a ZZ operations can commence such as was the one lately in Ukraine it was all right already on the Balkans because this is what the Serbs claimed against four nations in 90s when they commenced ethnic cleansing and it's what they claim now in Ukraine so that's all I want to say to you in respect to the Petar Cops we are nowhere near done you love to hate you're gonna have a plenty time to hate behind behind bars